What's going on guys, it's your boy Fano here, and in this CSGO video, I'm going to share with you guys a really cool CSGO orange themed loadout. So let's get right into the video guys, the first skin I have for you of course is the USPS Orion Minimal Wear. This classified pistol skin is currently going for around $14 on the Steam market, so I highly recommend you guys get yours now. Its price has been going up, it is part of the Huntsman collection, definitely highly encourage you guys to pick one up because it looks so nice and it is probably the only orange USPS. PS skin in the game. However, next up on my list, we're going to be taking a look at the P2000 Imperial Dragon Minimal Wear. It's a classified skin that's currently going for around $3.13, and um, it is a pretty nice looking orange themed skin. It has a hint of orange, guys. I mean, come on, it's not entirely orange. It has a lot of red on it as well, but it is really the dragon pattern that really sells this skin. I mean, if you go for like a factory new or minimal wear, you'll probably get one that has a lot of yellow and orange on it, and if you get one in Battle Scarred, it will be completely covered in red so the colors do change based on the condition however i recommend going with minimal wear so you can get a lot of orange and not have to pay a lot of money you guys can also take a look at the p2000 scorpion another really cool og orange themed csgo skin but next up on my list here we have a glock 18 reactor minimal wear it's a mil spec skin that's currently going for five dollars and fifteen cents on the steam community market it's from the cash collection guys a pretty old collection and i do believe that it is probably one of the most orange glock skins in csgo you guys could also have gone with like a Royal Legion if you guys want to save some cash But this is the skin if you want that orange themed Glock skin However, here we have a Desert Eagle Blaze Factory New and it is the most iconic Desert Eagle skin in Counter-Strike Global Offensive It's currently going for around $208 on the market and whether or not you play CSGO or not You'll probably know this skin and it's actually one of the only Desert Eagle skins in Counter-Strike that actually has orange in it Apart from like the light rail, which is a great alternative guys if you want to save some cash definitely Definitely go for that skin if you're on a budget. However, next up on my list, we have the R8 Revolver Skull Crusher Field Tested Condition. It's a classified skin that's currently going for $2.26. This skin right here has the most orange out of all the other revolver skins, so there's really no contest here. And for only $2.26 in field tested condition, I highly encourage you guys to cop one up. Here we have a CZ75 Auto Tigris Factory New. It's currently going for around $1.73 on the Steam market. Very minimal scratches, and it's full of orange color and nice design. Design. However, if you guys want to save some cash, you can obviously go for the minimal wear version. You'll probably save around a dollar, and there won't be too many noticeable scratches. For R57 skin, I recommend going with an orange peel factory new, which is only going for around 40 cents. And for our tech 9 skin, I recommend going with a toxic factory new, which is currently going for $2.26. It's a bit pricey, guys, but it is from the cash collection, so there you go. And for our P250 skin, I recommend going with a splash minimal wear, which is currently going for $7.38. A really Really nice OG P250 skin in Counter-Strike Global Offensive. For our dually skins, I recommend going with the Demolition Field Tested. It's only going for around $2.48, so I highly encourage you guys to pick one up, but no matter which one you get, you will definitely see some scratches on it because it only comes in three conditions, so don't be too afraid. Just focus on getting one with as much orange as possible, and you'll be good to go. Here we have a MAC-10 Heat Field Tested. It's currently going for only $0.93, cents. and for our MP7 skin, I highly encourage you guys to go with an orange peel minimal wear. It's currently going for around $2 on the Steam market and it will go really nicely with your 5.7 orange peel. However guys, if you prefer to roll with the MP5, I recommend going with a Gauss field tested, which is only going for around $0.38. Cents. There aren't that many MP5 skins in the game, let alone ones that actually have orange in it, so this is the closest one that you can get to an orange skin. But moving on to our next skin, we have a P90 Trigon and it is currently going for around $4.33 in the field tested condition. I highly encourage you guys to pick one up. It is from the Opera Phoenix collection so it's a really old skin I used to own one back in the day it is amazing guys and you will not be disappointed with this skin when you are trolling some noobs on dust 2 moving on to our PP bison skin I recommend going with like an antique factory new which is only going for on two dollars and seven cents and the obvious alternative to this skin is the Osiris which is probably going for on the same price and uh, yeah definitely get one either in minimal wear or factory new condition again depending on your budget but moving on guys here we have a UMP 45 blaze Factory New, it's currently going for a whopping $15 on the Steam market. It is the best orange themed UMP skin in CSGO, and it will fit really nicely with your Desert Eagle Blaze, so I highly encourage you guys to pick one up. But the next skin on my list is the MP9 Rose Iron Minimal Wear. You can currently get one for around $5.95. It's a bit steep, but it is one of my favorite skins in Counter-Strike. I think it has a really nice design, a really nice pattern. I love the color orange mixed with black and the rose. It fits in really nicely. Again, guys, a cheaper alternative would be to get 
get an orange peel factory new and you'll definitely save some green. For the Nova skin I recommend going with a blaze orange minimal wear, it's currently going for around $9.85, it's a very expensive skin but it is from the Militia collection so there you go. Basically what I'm trying to say there is that it is a really old collection, it's one of the OG collections, Militia obviously one of them, so its price is sort of warranted. But here we have a sawed off origami factory new, you can currently pick one up for only around 30 cents on the steam market, I think it's a great steal guys and I highly encourage you guys to pick one up. For the XM1014 I recommend going with a blaze orange minimal wear, it's currently going for around $9.23 on the steam market, and just like the Nova blaze orange they are both from the Militia collection so their price is pretty expensive. An interesting alternative would be to go for like a XM Seasons, of course you're gonna have to do some digging to find one where it only has orange, yellow, and red colors. And then of course here we have a Mag 7 heat field tested which is only going for around 60 cents. For our Negev skin I recommend going with a Nuclear Waste Factory New which is currently going for only around 70 cents. And for M249 skin there really isn't an orange themed M249 skin in the game so I recommend you go with like a Nebula Crusader field tested. It's only going for 41 cents. It's a restricted skin. You'll never really be using this skin and it sort of has a little bit of orange. However for our AK-47 skin I recommend going with a Bloodsport fuel tested. You can currently pick one up for around $46 on the market. You guys could have gone with like a safety net but I mean come on this skin just looks so good and I love the little cat logo on it and I know a lot of people really like the Bloodsport. It is a dream skin for many users so I highly encourage you guys to get one in field tested condition since it doesn't really show wear it only gets darker as the float increases. Field tested is the condition to go. But for the M4A4 I recommend going with an Azimov field tested which you can currently get for around $97 on the Steam market. It's a really old skin guys, it's a dream skin for many users, I really want to get one at some point. I'm probably going to hold off until the next Steam summer sale when its price is expected to drop and I'll definitely make sure to bring you guys along for the ride and keep you guys updated. However if you guys prefer to roll with an M4A1S I recommend going with an Atomic Alloy field tested, it's only going for around $7.86 for a classified M4A1S skin. I highly encourage you guys to pick one up. Try to find one with a low float, obviously, guys. You won't see these scratches while you're playing, but if you do inspect it in sunlight, you will notice the chips. For our AWP skin, I highly encourage you guys to get a Boom Minimal Wear, which is only going for around $32 on the Steam market. It's a really old AWP skin, that's why I'm saying only, because in the factory new condition, this skin costs well over $100, so I highly encourage you guys to go with Minimal Wear. There are not that many noticeable scratches, guys. Trust me and uh, try to find one with a nice pattern obviously if you can find one that says boom here and there even better guys so definitely get one now while its price is still low for our ssg08 skin i went with the dragonfire field tested you can currently get one for around 11 dollars on the steam market it's a bit pricey guys i know for a scout skin but it is a covert scout skin i believe it's one of the only ones in the game maybe the only one just kidding i mean how can you forget the blood in the water but jokes aside guys this skin has a lot of orange on it in the fire that this dragon is breathing out. It has a really nice design. Highly encourage you guys to pick one up. It's probably one of my favorite scout skins in CSGO. But moving on to the Galil AR skin, I recommend going with an orange DD Pat field tested, which you can currently pick one up for around $4.48. It has orange in its name, and it has some orange pixels on it, so what more could you guys want? For the FAMAS skin, I recommend going with a Valence field tested, which you can currently get for around $1.70. And for the SG553 skin, look no further than the Tiger Moth field tested, which you can currently get for around $3.80. I think it's a pretty underrated skin, guys. This skin is so nice. It has a really nice pattern. It has a lot of nice colors to it. It's not just orange. Let me know what you guys think of this skin in the comments and if you guys agree with this choice or not. But moving on to the AUG skin, I recommend going with a Flame Jormungandr Minimal Wear, which you can currently get for around $48 on the Steam market. It is a new CSGO Operation Collection skin, so it is a bit pricey, guys, but it will definitely be worth it. I predict that its price will go up and of course I'll be making an investments video on it in the near future. And of course guys before this skin came out I obviously would have gone with a Bengal Tiger. It's a really old skin I believe from the esports summer collection of 2014 so it's a really old skin and it was definitely going to be on this list had the Jormungandr not come out. But for the Scar 20 skin I recommend going with a Bloodsport field tested which you can currently get for around $2.26. It'll go really nicely with your AK-47 Bloodsport. I'm a pretty big fan of the Bloodsport if you guys haven't found out already, so I highly encourage you guys to pick one up. This is a really nice classified Scar 20 skin. But here we have the G3 SG1 Orange Crush Minimal Wear, which you can currently pick one up for only around 20 cents. Yes, guys, only 20 cents. That's how underrated and under 
underappreciated the T side auto sniper skin is uh, for good reason obviously but nonetheless it has orange in its name it has orange in its design highly encourage you guys to pick one up guys you'll be terrorizing some CTs on dust too now this loadout would not be complete if I did not include a CSGO knife so for this CSGO loadout I'm gonna go ahead and go with a falchion knife tiger tooth factory new which you can currently get for around $197 I think the tiger tooth looks really good on a falchion knife it also looks good on other knife finishes like the bayonet or the karambit let me know if you guys can think of any other orange themed CSGO knives if you guys want to see more CSGO loadout videos hit that like button and subscribe as always for future CSGO videos so until next time this is Fano signing out